Hello everyone, welcome back to Coco Ninja Mama channel. Thank you so much, my people. Thank you for watching my videos. My returning viewers, thank you so much. If today is your first time, you are welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like and share our videos. We do giveaways monthly. This month's giveaway is 60,000. Last month was 50. Thank you all my followers and subscribers. God bless you. Today's topic, we have two topics to discuss. Let's begin with this one. As Abia Commissioner of Sports, Uche is dead. The guy dropped dead just yesterday. May his gentle soul rest in peace. He was the former commissioner of sports in Abia State. He has been confirmed dead. The late Uche, Mr. Uche, died of an undisclosed illness on Saturday, just two days ago. Miss Gentle Soul rest in peace. At least this one has sad news, but it did better say you seek why then somebody just come kill you untimely that one i'm bad pass may god not let us to see such dead because these days people are damn too wicked wicked people in the highest places extremely wicked some nigerians they are so so wicked this can this time around the way they they take people lives as if lives not be anything as if lives no be nothing to them. May God Almighty have mercy on the evil people made it for our society now. Anyway, make I tell you now this part too. Like I said, none of them be interesting news at all. Now sad news and the two of them came from Abia State. So I say, okay, make I had the two sad news together and uh, the two of them came from Abia State. May their souls rest in peace. This is the second person. This one, his name is Jacob. Mr. Jacob also from Abia is from Abiriba. So this man was shot dead. According to the speculations on the internet, he was kidnapped alongside with his children and wife alongside with other neighborhood other people from the neighborhood rather and unfortunately for him he couldn't survive it he was the only person that was shot dead the others were tortured and according to police investigation also because police swung into actions immediately this thing this incident occurred the guys were arrested and um, the so-called kidnappers not just normal neutral kidnappers it's not that this mr late mr jacob was targeted no he wasn't targeted at all not just normal neutral kidnap kidnappers they just come across the man and other people his children and others made they already get for their kidnapping dent. So fortunately for this Mr. Jacob, he was among the people made they don't already deleted. You know, make him alive, may so rest in peace. And the reasons why they decided to end his life, it was because the man had flashy car. You know, say nowadays when you get common car, what one million naira, your life is gone. 
this time around the hardship the poverty in our country your life no value 200,000 naira people can delete you for less than 5,000 naira safe just to see food to chop for that day the country is extremely difficult for people to stay the country is just too expensive i wondered how nigerians are coping in this critical moment there is nothing to do no job no jobs at all no jobs for the graduate no jobs for the undergraduate this is the reason why we have so many insecurity problems we are facing insecurity problems because the youths our you know vibrant youths that are supposed to to be working doing things that will favor their lives they are stealing killing destroying lives and properties just to hang living the nigeria they really really difficult really really difficult i'm in nigeria me i came from europe still i'm even finding it difficult to cope because things are expensive damn too expensive times 20 of what we knew Times 20 of the prices we knew before for markets. When you go market, 500 naira, you go buy a pint of gari. Now, more than 1,000 naira for a pint of gari. Crayfish, a pint of crayfish is 2,005. In many cases, 3,000 naira for common crayfish. The price of gari and kuli kuli for markets now is at its highest rate. And this is really, really, really messy because how can people survive in this country? How? Our government leaders, they care less about how we survive. And this is not the reason why people like this no go survive our country. You know why? Because they have it. They have the flashy cars. They have money. They are living in a well-protected and secured environment. So the vagabonds in the society, the the jobless youths, they will locate these people. And when they locate them, that is the end of their lives. You know, because when they go steal from people like this, and they don't know how to die the matter, they will just end their lives so that they will not be traced. So in many cases like this, when they lose our be big people and according to speculation this man a philanthropist man may get good hearts to touch people to give people nine nigeria just handed nigeria's the senseless and the jobless youth handed this man life you know how many lives this man is saving before he's dead so all those people now go go back to zero just because some vagabonds ended this young man life this man a breadwinner na uncle na father na son they ended his life just because of his own properties this is how cruel some nigerians are instead of us to go look for job we prefer to kill and snatch their properties these people get one head like us they worked so hard for their money Many Nigerians are so lazy. Instead of them to go look for work or concentrate on their jobs, focus on how to grow their own and work. They go just go into stealing, killing, destroying lives just to survive. How long you want to survive with such senseless jobs? How long? Nigeria Poverty, poverty, obwari, obwari, you are not the only Nigeria. We have almost 200 million citizens and we are surviving. The poverty, the hardship in our country is like rain on the roofs. Every roof will be affected. So I suffer, Paso, oh, my mama do this, my, and the suffer and reach everybody hand. I know she say your suffer pass my own suffer as long as we are Nigerians and we are, you know, hustling, struggling to survive. Our suffers are, our suffer rather, the suffer is equal. In many cases, my suffer pass your own, my suffer senior your own, but you choose to end my own life. 
You want to hand my life just to collect that little that I have. It doesn't make sense at all. We should try to be honest, hard working, put God first. You will grow no matter how and stop all these killings. May this man so rest in peace and lesson to learn, especially when you are living in a neighborhood where there are many poor people around that vicinity. Try to live low. Try to come to their standards. Because if you show yourself to be above them, they will end your life. And we know Nigeria, there is no justice for the living. Talk more of the dead. Try to live low. Try to, you know, focus. Put your eyes on ground and see the people living around you. Check their level. Don't go beyond their level so that your life and properties and that of your family will last long. Anyway, my people, this is the end of today's topic. Thank you so much for watching my video. God bless you. My returning viewers, thank you so much. I really appreciate God bless you now. Oh, thank you. I stand there for Naija. Oh, they could not remember me for my prayers. And uh, if even if I won't give me money, they could not forget say na Coco Mama leave this Coco Mama name. Oh, you know they help me when I give me Coco Baby or Coco Girl so that Una go feed assist me. Once in a while, now understand. Eh, eh. Moving down, go take. He's still the hustle. He need money. Talk less of me, poor girl. Hey, I beg go. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.